Nine-year-old son upset after his mom brought him back early when he was supposed to stay with her. My nine-year-old son was supposed to be with his mom this weekend. She picked him up and took him for a few hours and then called me and said he needed to come home. I'm not doing anything this weekend, but it's nice to get a break. So she brought him back. She brought his bag to me and said, I can't fulfill my obligation to our son any longer. Didn't even flinch and walked off. It was the weirdest most monotone thing I've ever heard. He was in his room sobbing and told me that she told him that she hates him. I don't understand where that even came from. He loves her, and if it were up to him, he would live with her. I took him to his favorite restaurant and he was crying so hard he couldn't eat. We drove by her apartment and it's dark, but I can hear the dog barking when I knock. Her phone is off. I don't know what's going on with her, but my son is just inconsolable. He was really looking forward to being with her. He does every weekend. Even when it isn't her weekend he asks if he can please just see if maybe he can spend the night. Is there anything I can do to make him see this doesn't have anything to do with him? Is this out of the ordinary behavior for her? Is she always so cold? Or is this completely new? This is really sad. I'm so sorry. No child should ever have to hear that from any parent. Do you think she's depressed, or suicidal? Her mom went over and she's not there. She says it looks normal, and so the dog and the cat are both at her mom's. The police are notified that something is wrong. What an awful thing to say to a kid. I'm sorry he had to go through that, it must have been extremely traumatizing for him especially at his age. Look into therapy. Keep him around friends, family as much as possible. Tell him you love him and that will never change. Promise him. I'm nearly in tears thinking about your little man. How could someone do that to a child? If she was having troubles in her own life she should have spoken to you and only you about it. If you have a court order for visits then I suggest you try and get in writing what she said or get a lawyer involved so she can't get back at you for not holding up to your end of the order. Hope he's doing a little better now. There really isn't anything you can say or do that will make him feel any better about it. All you can do is consistently show him you love him. He will always have this mother wound. Therapy and time can help him cope with it, but it will always be a part of him. He'll probably go through the stages of grief at some point when he realizes she's not coming back. Be prepared for him to get very depressed and struggle. Talk to his school about this so his teachers understand he's gonna need some extra TLC. Get your son to therapy right now. Poor kid. What a horrible thing to hear. God bless you. Seriously man I'm so sorry. Call the police and request a welfare check on her ASAP. Explain that she seemed very devoid of emotion and was acting out of character. I hope she's okay. Fiance changed his number. My fiancé changed his number two months ago and will only communicate with me over social media when I say this is a problem he asks do you think you deserve my phone number? But he doesn't think this is toxic or manipulative and I don't love him if I leave him for this. Update dumped him and according to him I'm the one who's out of line because if I lived him I wouldn't need his number. Lol. Then said we'll let's both delete all of our social media I said well then dummy how would I contact you? He said I kid you not well you won't have to we will be together all the time. Uh no thank you then decided because I don't want him I'm the one who has someone else and I'm cheating like is this real life law. How old are you both? Do you live together? And yes this is fucking mental. A fiancé who doesn't deserve his phone number. How the fuck is that a healthy relationship? There is so much I could say, but really it doesn't need to be said. You know this is wrong hence why you are here. Location flag. If you guys are already doing this don't get married. 0% chance this is who you should be marrying or even dating. 0. Get out. Time to change your number and get out of that relationship ASAP. Yeah, screw him. He's no longer your fiancé if you're not allowed to have his phone number. Why are you staying with someone who's such an ass? There's no way you typed this out, proofread it, and still thought it was normal. Right? What the hell that's some next level manipulation I have no words. Other than get out stay out you are worth so much more. What the fuck? How do I? 20F. Calm my boyfriend, 21M. Down after an argument. We have dated for 4 years now but I worry that might be over. For a few weeks now, he is telling me to cut off my parents like he did. I had serious reservations as I still love my family but he keeps arguing I won't grow up if I keep in contact with them. I know he has had a contentious relationship with his parents but I don't want to cut off mine. He eventually got fed up and said I was a baby instead of an adult and walked off. I worry he is breaking up with me and I don't want to do that. How do I calm him down? That's psychotic. Why would you cut your support system off? 
It's one thing if they baby you, buy you everything, and tell you what to do still, but cutting them off because he wants you to. Yikes. How do I calm him down? You don't because it's not your job to calm him down. Then you'll do this EV single time he's upset. You are his partner, not his mom. A partner lets him cool off, a mother finds a way to calm them down. He is telling me to cut off my parents like he did. This is honestly a big red flag. It sounds like he's trying to isolate you which is a bad thing. Just because he cut them off doesn't mean you have to. You can still grow up while still being in contact with your parents. If he can't see that, then that's his issue to get over. No one who loves you will ask you to cut off your family. Dot. This is serious and bad. I'm worried he is going to become abusive. Can you safely get out and get home to your family when his behavior gets even worse? Yeah that's not normal. Just because he's cut his off you need to? Nah. You can still keep in touch and still grow up. Deaf an attempt to isolate you. I'd avoid that. Reading your replies you sound 13 and not 20. I actually feel sorry for you cause one day you'll wake up all alone and realize what a mistake this was. But for the time being since you don't wanna be single, lose him, run along and get more brainwashed by someone who's alienating you from everyone you love. Can't help someone that won't help themselves. Yeah, that's pretty disturbing. Do not cut your parents off just because some crazy angry man wants you to. You're an idiot. Very wrong that he wants you to cut off your parents simply because he did and doesn't have that relationship with them. If he left then be thankful in knowing it's not your fault and you did no wrong. My fiancé invited two men who she slept with to our wedding and I'm not okay with it. So my fiancé and I are currently going through the process of planning out who we are inviting to our wedding. I'll just say this now, unbeknownst to me my fiancé is inviting two guy friends of hers that she hooked up with at the same time. One of these guys is in her bridal party. Now I'm not a prude or anything and I'm not obsessed with her sexual past. I'm a firm believer of ignorance being bliss. But now I'm not ignorant and I'm lacking bliss. I found out because one of my friend's girlfriend is helping us with planning. This girl apparently knew about they guys and told my friend. He then told me. I thought he was just fucking with me and I didn't believe him. Then I mentioned it to my fiancé and she said it was true. I didn't like interrogate her. I mentioned it offhand as a stupid remark and she admitted to it and got mad at her friend. So after some thinking I decided I wasn't comfortable having those guys at our wedding. I get that it happened before we met and has really no effect on our relationship, but I'm just not comfortable with having two guys that Eiffel towered the woman I'm about to marry at the wedding. I'm not judging her, I'm not not comfortable with it and I don't think that's unreasonable. I'd never invite an ex-fling because she doesn't need to be there. So one of the guys is a good friend of hers and was going to be a bridesman, and my fiancé got upset with me. She told me I was being insecure and it's not fair for her to not have her friends on her wedding day. I told her it's just as much my wedding day as it is hers and considering how accommodating I've been to her wants for an ideal wedding, it's kinda selfish for her to not be willing to be accommodating of one request. I don't think I'd feel comfortable saying my vows when directly behind my wife-to-be is a guy who grabbed a buddy and slept with her. It's just gross and I don't like it. What should I do? 1. You're just finding out about these friends now? Two. She gets mad that her friend spilled the beans? Something stinks. So her close guy friend is someone she used to plow, nice. So ah, uh, what has her relationship been with these guys during your relationship? Dot. I didn't like interrogate her, I mentioned it offhand as a stupid remark and she admitted to it and got mad at her friend. Ask yourself this question op. Why would she be mad at her friend about spilling the beans? She can think whatever she wants about your reasoning, and it's on her if she chooses to not try to understand where you're coming from. If they're there, it could ruin it for you. Them being there doesn't seem fair when your day is the cost. She has a right to her sexual history but she's bringing it to your wedding. Tough one. I wouldn't be okay with that either. I would question whether or not I'm ready to get married tell you the truth. I assume this is a fake post. If not, the answer is easy. Say no. If she insists, call off the wedding. That's a deal breaker. It's so profoundly disrespectful that you should not marry her. Indeed, the fact that she would invite them without telling you the truth, and make one of them her bridesmaid, and be angry with whoever told you, is a deal breaker, and unbelievable. At this point, I would be rethinking the wedding altogether. She should be apologizing, not bitching about somebody telling you the truth. Op at this point it not you who should ask anything. Express your feelings about the whole situation one more time properly and don't blame her or say anything negative. Leave the decision to her. 
whether she still wants them in her bridal party or her wedding or not at all. If she can't see where she's wrong I'd be second-guessing the marriage as a whole. I'm in your corner. I would not be comfortable at all if I was getting married and my groom to be invited a woman that he had previously slept with. Also, the fact that she never told you is super sketch. Personally, I wouldn't be able to enjoy my day knowing a guest at the wedding had previously felt my groom's penis inside her. Call me insecure, but that's how I see it. Her accusing you of insecurity is pure manipulation to get you to accept her disrespect.